start detailing our base mesh by sculpting the eyes. To give us a guide while we sculpt the eyelids, we'll insert the eyeball first. Select the Insert Mesh Brush. Push M on your keyboard and make sure the sphere is selected. Where the eye would go, drag down and pull down until it's about the size of an eyeball. ZBrush will automatically mask the base mesh. Select W on your keyboard to select the Move tool. Starting with the eye, draw out the Move tool. With the center circle on the line, pull the eyeball back. Rotate the head to the front view and draw out the line again from the center of the eye. Use the center circle to move the eye into position. Hold down Control and Shift and click on the sphere. This will hide the base mesh. In the Tools menu, open the Subtool palette. In the Split submenu, push the Split Hidden button. This will separate the eyeball from the base mesh. In the list of subtools, click on the base mesh and we'll continue working on that. Use the solo button or the keyboard shortcut Alt-X to hide the eyes. Hold down Control and draw a mask where the eyes will go. Tapping in the middle will soften the mask. Select the inflate brush and create a bulge where the eyes will go. Then hold down Shift and smooth it out. Hold down Control and draw a mask to roughly define where the eyelids will go. Control tap on the canvas to invert the mask. Select the Inflate Brush, hold down Alt, and push the mesh in to define the eye socket. To the side of the model, hold down Control and drag a rectangle, once to clear the mask, and again to DynaMesh the model. We'll start defining our eyelids now. Select the Damien Standard or Dam Standard brush, sculpt the upper and lower eyelids and a slight indentation above the eye. Hold down Shift to smooth this area. I do this a few times to build up the form. Sculpt a little, smooth a little. Use the Move brush to help shape the eye. Pull in the corner and also on the edge. From the side, the eye will be like a wedge shape. From the front, move the mesh around into an eye shape. To help clean things up, open the Geometry Palette and push the Clay Polish button. We'll increase the resolution of our DynaMesh slightly. Open the DynaMesh submenu and move the slider to about 150. Control drag to DynaMesh the model again and the damn standard brush to sculpt the eyelids a little bit more. You can polish the mesh each time you DynaMesh by pushing the Polish button in the DynaMesh submenu. Check above and below your model to make sure that the lids follow the eyeball shape. If needed, use the Move brush to pull them back into position.
use the damn standard brush to make a slight crease above the eye. Using the same brush, we can define the shape of the brow. Carefully sculpt the brow ridge and also the crease below. When we use Dynamesh with polish on, it will clean up those edges. Use the move brush to make any tweaks. That's good enough for now. We'll refine our character in the